Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you how to do all those little jobs and chores around your house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. And please, please, please subscribe. There's a little red button here someplace. It just push that. If you're returning, welcome back for another lesson and get ready. We're about to begin. Sometimes when you're in a painting project, um, you forget a few things. And that is common. It, it, happens, it happens to the best of us. Uh, sometimes you forget the liner for the inside of your paint pans. Now these are liners like this. This is for the smaller, smaller paint pans that, that uh, great for residential. Uh, I like to use the, uh, the handy paint tray. It's got two handles on it, one here, one here. Uh, it's much, much wider. Um, I like using the inserts the, because I like things nice and clean. Now, I know that there's a lot of guys who will say they don't use the liners at all. They just let the paint dry the next day or the day after that. They just peel it right off. Well, that's great. You know, I mean, it's, it's not something that I really want to do. I want to be able to be clean right after the job. So what I do is after that, after that paint pan is done with that particular color for that project, I throw it away. Now, let's say, for instance, you forgot them. Now, there are a couple of different things that you can do. Now, you can go ahead and pour it in here like the other guys do. Or you have household things around that you could use in its stead. Now, if it's a big project, go back to the store and get the pans. If it's a small project and you're just doing some touch-ups, first thing you can do is you can put a bag in there. You can just line, line it, line it like this. Here, let me show you. I'm going to pull this down like this. Let me show you what to do. All right. Here's the up part. All your paint is going to be down inside of here, and you're going to roll down like this. Okay? So what you can do, if it's just a small project, line it like this. Get it up on the edges. If you want to, you can put some tape, tape across here, a little tape across here. Just put a little puddle of, of paint inside of here, and you're set to go. And that would be perfect. And then this way, once you are done with that little touch-up job, you can lift up your tape on both sides, push everything together like this, throw it away. Now, there is a couple of other different things that you can do. Let's say your project is a little bit larger and you just don't want to go to the store. You have in your house two different things that you could probably use. One is some cling wrap. They call it cling wrap at Kroger's. Uh, uh, the household name, I guess, is saran wrap. So grab a couple of sheets of this and just line your pan. It's going to take some time because you should have <laughs> remembered the pan liners. Just put it in like this. It clings to itself, hence the name cling wrap. And put it in like this. It actually becomes virtually watertight because it is clinging to itself. Now, will this work? It certainly will. You can put your puddle of paint right inside of here, and you can go ahead and just be careful with it. Again, you can put tape along the sides, you can put tape along the top, and then when you're done, flip that tape up and go like this, and go like this, and go like this, and toss it out. Now, is there another way of doing it? Yes, of course. The other third way would be with this. You could use tin foil. A little bit of aluminum foil. Curl it around the inside.
it conforms better on the sides than it does with the plastic wrap or the plastic bag. Like this, just like this, just like this. Yes, see, yeah, I just put a hole in over here. Okay, so what do we do? Just add a little bit more. This time I'm going to go this way. Okay. Will this work? It certainly will. Put your puddle of paint inside of here. Go ahead and do your, do your small paint job. Would you do an entire room with this? Probably not. Would you do, um, uh, you just fixed a hole in the wall and you need to do some touch up and you ended up painting just one full wall? Yeah, yeah, you could certainly do that. And then that would be fine. And just like the others, you don't really need to use tape on this because aluminum foil kind of conforms to whatever you're wrapping it around very nicely and then just wrap it up and throw it away. Is there a way of getting around things that, that you, you, forgot, you, forgot to, you forgot to go out and buy something and you need to get the job done quickly, you're in the middle of everything and you just gotta sometimes, man, you just gotta think out of the box. What would I do if I don't have the item? What could I use in its stead? In this case, you can use a shopping bag, you can use cling wrap, you can use aluminum foil. Um, or you can just pour it right into the pan and wait a couple days for it to, wait to dry out before you, you, you uh, pull up the dry paint and your paint pan is relatively, dry, is, uh, relatively clean again. Is there ways of doing it? Of course there's ways. Um, just start thinking out of the box. Not everything is black and white. Yeah, yeah, everything is not just black and white. So, if you've got other, any other items you want me to try out and see if it actually works, this actually is a nice little hack. It's, it works pretty good and it looks like it's, it could work for small projects, not for the big ones. But certainly for the small ones it would work out pretty good. If you've got any other hacks you want me to try, put them down in the comments. I'll give them a shot. And if you would, at that same time here, um, put, there's a button, I don't know where it is. Uh, click that button to subscribe and check out the other videos I got. And I'll see you on the next video.